Today, I am partnering up with my incredibly talented buddy, Travis, who is a kick-ass creator and artist who recently came out with a video of himself green-screened into a meeting with Gary V. And my God, is it money. It looks great. You guys have to watch it when you can. So I will put a link in a card above and in the description below so you guys can check it out. But I thought, who better than to teach peeps how to green-screen properly than the man that fooled his own family with his green-screen skills. What's up, guys? Travis Doodles here. And in my opinion, when you're using a green screen, the most important thing is lighting. So I'm in my house right now and this is my setup. I have a green screen and four lights. Two on the green screen and two on the subject. I got these lights off Amazon. I like to use the soft boxes for the green screen and then I use these lights for the subject. What you wanna do is have good separation between your subject and the green screen so it doesn't cast any shadows. And just remember, lighting the green screen and the subject are two different things. So now you're gonna put your footage into Final Cut Pro and the effect you're going to use to key out the green or blue screen you're using is called keyer. So if you got the lighting right, there's no wrinkles in your green screen and you're not casting any shadows, the keyer pretty much does all the hard work for you. When you apply it, the green goes away. Usually there's a little outline around your subject, so I go to Matte Tools and play with the Shrink and Expand feature. Go to the left a little bit, and that should fix it. Then right click, Transform, and you can move your subject anywhere in the frame. And you can put any image or video you want behind the keyed out subject. Let me show you what a bad key looks like when it's not lit properly and you have shadows. <laughs> So shadows happen when you're too close to the green screen or it's not evenly lit. So as you can see, there's artifacts behind me and you don't want that. So this is the clip that I used. I cropped this guy out and put myself in his place. And if you follow these steps, you should get a perfect key just like this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I think it goes without saying that if you have not checked out Travis's channel, make sure to do so after this. He posts a lot of great stuff and is an incredible artist, so I know you guys will enjoy his work. If you enjoyed this video, press the thumbs up button and do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.